Hey everyone, welcome back. Oh boy. And this, oh boy, is my review of Naruto Manga Channel 665 entitled Who I Am Now. And before I get into this review, I just my bullshit is on fucking insane. Wow. Okay, let's just get into it. Now, there's something I can do in the last chapter. Um, I'm going to mention the chapter that both chapters. Uh, in the last chapter, Madara spit out those two, uh, tools of the Sage and Six Paths, which were, I forget what their, uh, actual Japanese names are, but they're basically the Gord and the Pop. Alright. And, these two items are irrelevant, so I don't know why the fuck they're here. Even more panels of Madara wasted the last chapter, and this chapter. Alright, those two items are irrelevant, and I don't see them irrelevant just for nothing. They think they're gonna be able to seal Madara away with these two items. They can't do it. Okay. First, there's no characters in the that, well, very few of them actually know about the item. Even less that they can do, and even less, very few of them that actually knows how to use them. So those items are irrelevant right now. Okay. They really are irrelevant. I'm sorry, but they are. So, I just wanted to get past that briefly right there. They're irrelevant. Let's get past it. Fucking Obito Uchiha. Now, there is something good in this chapter. I'll talk about that last. I want to get the good thing out of your last one, right? but. Fucking Obito Uchiha. He thinks he can take down Madara. Isn't that cute? Okay, first off, why is Obito still alive? He's supposed to be fucking dead. Not only that, he's supposed to be fucking dead twice over. Okay. Twice over he's supposed to be dead. And... Somehow, he's still alive. I don't understand how. How is this motherfucker still alive? Alright, it's like he... Two reasons why he's supposed to be dead. He... First off, he got the... Yeah. Ten, uh, or the, uh, rather, ten tails extracted from him. Secondly, which, you know, when you get every uh, tail piece extracted from you, let alone the tails, despite it being the The reason I'm giving for Naruto still being alive is because he's half Uzumaki. And even then, he's not full Uzumaki. So that's which is why he's not as alive as, not as well as his mother was. He's kind of at death's door right now, basically. And for Killer B, if, as, if I recall correctly, Killer B still has a tentacle of the eight tails from when he fought Sasuke eons ago. Alright, so he should still have a tiny bit of of the uh, eight tails chakra left in him. Which is why that, we haven't seen him since then, but I'm guessing that if that's the case, he's probably still alive. Alright, which I'm pretty sure that he still has that. So... Yeah, so there's that. And then also, Obito used the, uh, Rani Tensei, that will be at Madara Force him to, to revive Madara. Which, whenever someone uses the Rani Tensei, that's, they're supposed to die. So how is this motherfucker still alive? Even if he's somehow still alive, because that Black Zetsu was keeping him alive, for, forcibly, for, forcibly, but... Even if he's still alive, he definitely should not be up or uh, moving around and shit. 
in addition to that, he also has his, uh, his sparring gun activated. How? How does he have his uh, enough chakra to have his Mangekyo Sharingan activated? And now he thinks he's... And did Obito just stab Madara and take the, uh... Uh, sage, the sage's staff from him? Did Obito just punk Madara? Bullshit. Alright? Bullshit. Whew. Oh boy. Okay, so, that's... <laughs> that's all bullshit, and Madara pretty much confirmed when he was talking with Obito, that Obito's a bitch. Okay. Just. <laughs> it's just it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything right here. Pretty much confirmed that Obito's a bitch, which we kind of already knew. Uh, because he pretty much confirmed, which we already knew, that Obito never had his own set of ideals and beliefs. That he was basically just leeching off of Madara's. Granted, Nagato was too, but Nagato has a worse pass, had a worse pass than Obito. So that's why I think it was more acceptable, you know. Um, so, and, he, and Madara basically told Obito, you are now no longer Obito Uchiha, you were supposed to be Madara Uchiha, you were supposed to be my ideals and my beliefs and carry my and be the savior. Right. So pretty much we burned over this bitch. In addition to that, now we get to get to the one, like, good thing in this chapter. Which was Madara's because I think Madara is one of the most interesting villains I've ever seen in the show. It really is. I'm not saying that because I'm a, I'm a Madara fanboy. I really think he has fucking phenomenal characterization because at this point it's clear that of a, several things. It's clear that Madara no longer sees himself as a person. keeps preaching that, and yeah, there is a little bit of arrogance attached to it, but mainly, it's because of the fact that he doesn't see himself as a person. He sees himself as the living and ideals. Okay. He sees himself as an ideal. Alright, and there's an old saying that I really love. You can't kill an idea. You can't kill an ideology. You can't kill a belief. Alright, you just can't do it. You, you can kill a person. You can make a martyr out of a person. You can torture a person. You can't torture an idea. You can't deal. So that's why Madara is saying literally, Madara Uchiha is able to kill or seal Madara the person. But Madara Uchiha is also the living embodiment of his own ideals. That's why even... He's basically suddenly saying that even if you finish to him, my ideals will still live on and something else will come along. That's basically what I'm thinking out of it. And that, he has such phenomenal fucking characterization. He's such an interesting character. Alright, be simply because of that. So... And I completely fucking expect moderate kill Obito next chapter. Hopefully next chapter. But hopefully next chapter. Because Obito needs to fucking die, and I honestly think the story of this manga would improve greatly with Obito's death. No fool right here, I really think that it would improve greatly with Obito's death. So... Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this chapter. With Madara, it was actually really good. And I know it's more in I know it's more monologuing, but it's still really good monologuing. And it helps to develop his character as well. Alright. So why Madara is such a frightening villain. Not only because of his power, because let's see what he has. Not only has all of his natural abilities, which both makes him the god of the Shinobi world, he also 
has Hashirama cells, which basically gives him enhanced natural abilities, his enhanced healing, and a good style. He, also he has the ten The ten tails. All he's missing from the ten tails is Minato's half of the nine tails chakra, which is now inside of uh, which is now inside of Black Zetsu, so it's pretty much in Madara's possession anyways. And possibly like a tentacle of the Eight Tails Chakra, which might be inside of Killer B. Um, maybe. But that's really it, all he's missing of the Ten Tails. And he also has the Sage Chakra. And now he's going after his Renegon. Once he gets his Renegon back and the rest of the Tentail Chakra, he'll basically be at full power. So not only is he a freaking villain because of his physical powers, <laughs> okay, this god of the Shinobi world here, but he's also a frightening villain because of his powers. There are two modern Uchihas now, the person and the beliefs. You might, they might be able to stop the person, but they can't stop the beliefs. <sighs> And it's also really clear here, in terms of Madara's sake, that he has a huge messiah complex. That's obviously, because he was telling Obito, you know, you were supposed to be this Madara Uchiha, the savior of this world. So, it's clear that Madara has a, or, yeah, that Madara has a huge messiah complex, complex in the sense that he believes that he is somehow uniquely positioned to be the savior of the world. Very interest, interesting on Madara's part. That's why I really love Madara as a fucking character, uh, because he's very interesting. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, it's pretty much all I've discussed in this chapter. One more thing I do want to mention, though, that people keep telling me is that they think that they're going to use... King Kaku and Ging Kaku's chakra from the uh, pot or the gourd, whichever it was, I forget which one it was, might have been both, too, who knows, to revive Naruto. No, it's not going to happen. And the reason that's not going to fucking happen is because it's already inside of Madara, because King Kaku and Ging Kaku were, were absorbed by Obito when he still had the mask on and thrown inside the ghetto Mazo, and all that chakra that was so, that's why it's not going to happen, okay? And, oh, he's not going to fucking kill Madara. He's not going to. That would basically mean that Okido, on his deathbed, pretty much, would be stronger than Madara Uchiha, you know, the god of the shinobi world. Every, every Kage that has ever existed in the world. Kakashi and Guy and all nine of the tailed beasts. No. Uh-uh. Yeah, you know, and I'm obviously on his deathbed. No, uh, fuck that. He's not gonna fucking kill me. It's not gonna fucking happen, so. Yeah, I think uh, this review goes longer than most of mine do, but I think that's pretty much all I have to say in this review. The chapter, for the most part, was a bit, but again, the stuff with Potter I thought was really good. I, as always. <laughs> so, yes, but anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed the review, guys. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.